Uh, we can do the FG knot. A lot of people ask about the FG knot. So, and you think the FG knot is the best knot, the strongest knot? I, I, I really like. I quit tying this all, you know, the carrot or all bright or whatever. I quit tying that a couple of years ago, and I started doing the FG. But I think I like this better. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll one day we'll do a little poundage test, test on to it, see maybe. which yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if we got one. We probably do for the poundage on the uh, the drag. Mm -hmm. So we might have one. We can test the breaking strength on it. But on the, uh, the FG, but it. So I, I usually. No, it'd be this this part of the line would be connected to the rod, and I'll put it kind of leaning up against me because you want to keep this line kind of tight. Mm -hmm. You know, you you can't do the FG knot with it like that; it has to be tight. So I will have to have you hold hold up, and you just go over the top, just lay the line over, mm -hmm. and you do I do like twenty seven. So twenty seven over the top. Twenty. Yeah, so it's one. And then two, go backwards. You go forward around it and backwards around it, forward around it, backwards around it, forward around it. I'm just going to do a few. I want to do like 10. Okay. Because normally I do it with braid. And it, it, I mean, you see, that's already a big knot. So. All right. So what are we tying? We're tying the FG knot. This is going to yep. be the FG knot. Might have, have to have a couple of little outtakes or whatever. But, uh, FG knot. It's uh, I make this little knot here. So I can grip it with my teeth better. Got to keep this line tight. You can, if you do too tight, rod. it kind of can mess it up. So it has to be tight, but not just like you know, extremely tight like that. You know. So. Any more slack on that? No, nope. no, that's good. So, good. Uh, so I do like 20, 25, maybe thirty wraps or something like that. What's happening, bub? Good, yeah. All right, let's uh, see. grip it with my teeth. Start out. I start out on the top. Uh -huh. so I, I blade line on top, and then I go over and under and over and under and over and under. You'll kind of see what I'm talking about, but over and under 27 times. Over and under. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Okay. So over, under, over. I lost my teeth. And you come back to you, then go away, then come back and go away. Hmm. I see it, yeah. It's starting to come together. It's one of the strongest knots that you can tie. I wouldn't say the strongest. I don't think it's been proven that there's any knot stronger than the other. But Yes, it has been. It, I don't think it's been the proven. The World's Fair knot is the, the strongest knot you can tie. Which one? World's Fair knot, but it takes like five minutes to tie it. Oh, okay. Palomar is number two, and it yeah. only takes a half a half a minute to tie it, yeah. so I'll, I'll go with the Palomar. No, they've they had knot wars on the end fishermen or whatever and it's been proven time and time again on that so i think it's all staged no, all staged probably i think it's all staged. so 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 we did 27 or so maybe 27 24. yeah so wrapped it so now i go over both lines with four half hitches or some people call them half hitches but this is what it's called overhand knot or half hitch four overhand uh, so knots. I, I do them kind of backwards too so i did one the on the out and i did one on the inside kind of so there's two Three. I get so you're, through. you're overhanding both both lines mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. And this can be all at the same. I just kind of switch them up. That can be all the same. Then you kind of pull it and tight, pull it tight. Make sure it cinches down. I need the gloves again. Red lines cut my little pansy handsies. Got soft hands. Yeah, and a warm heart. That don't make any sense. <laughs> Have I ever made? I only make sense when I'm tying knots. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a fortune is, cookie. Yeah. So there. Got that part. So hang on for a second. Got to get technical with the glasses. With the so, old glasses. Yeah. So again, I like to burn my knots. 
So we've got the braided line here. Actually, I'll wait on the braided line. I want to do this one first. I'll go just a little closer. And see how I flatten that out? Mm -hmm. Keeps it from pulling. And then I'll go just to make it go through the eyes. You know, most of the time, on, like on YouTube, they don't tell you to do this. But I go ahead and do like three more overhands and that smooths it out to go over like to go through the guides to the guides better yeah yeah, yeah. So, so just, so just do a couple more, more. so i'm covering eyes. up that because it's you know it's a, like an abrupt stop you know yeah. there so now this kind of makes a little point before you get to that end that's burnt off there so two oh i see yeah you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying i don't know what you're saying you know what i'm saying i heard that okay so Then I got one more step that we really don't have the stuff for, but so then I'll you burn that one off. Burn that off. Try to get it over there, kind of on the edge. There we go. That's 60 pound. I mean, that's that goes through, right? Can you see that? That's pretty. That's just barely, it's not even double the line diameter, right? Nope, it's yeah. not even yeah. double. Kind of flubby dubby right there, but not bad. That's pretty not though. Yep. Stay still so I can focus. <laughs> Let's focus it on your shirt, goofball. Uh, so, so that's another good knot to tie. That, what, what we're talking about is joining braided line to monofilament or fluorocarbon. That's a great knot to do it. It throws, you can throw it a mile for tuna popping or whatever. It goes through the eyes very well. So, yeah. We'll do one more maybe. Yeah.